guys, this is Chase back with another LEGO Star Wars video. So today we are reviewing the Mandalorian helmet online since it won't come out until March 1st. I have a lot of controversial things to say about this helmet, but I hope this brings me good willing and good willing to you if you decide to pick this up release date or a few days after. Make sure you guys like and subscribe if you haven't and it's free and if you don't want to that's okay too so let's get on with the video so as you can see the set number is 75328 that's 584 pieces and it is 18 plus as it is the mandalorian star wars 18 plus line helmets so this box tells us a lot of things um about the box artwork and we'll get onto the back soon so so the first thing we're going to see is that the helmet has a really big base on the bottom. Uh, this is very unusual for a Mandalorian helmet that we'll get to later. Um, but the front of the box looks really great. Obviously it has side artwork and it's that regular box artwork. So we have a front view of the Mandalorian helmet. Obviously it has a plaque, but we know that and that's cool. So something when this got revealed was a huge controversial thing about this uh, front piece as it obviously shows that it, in the movies and the shows it is shorter than the Boba Fett's one but in Lego the Boba Fett's one is uh not as wide so this is really controversial in a way that it's way too big and people think it doesn't look right even on the back of the box work which really makes me mad they just pointed it out they have that tiny little picture in the middle of the helmet and then next to it is two movie accurate photos of his helmet that obviously show it's thinner but they still decide to not make it like that and they completely pooped the design of the front wind i just don't want to talk about this much more because you know i feel like it's very controversial in the fact that i'm not even buying it but moving on from that stupid face this is the side of the helmet so it didn't really have the whole entire helmet top of the helmet studded off the side looks great though and they do use chrome pieces not as much as we want them to but the fact that they still put in mind that it should be chrome and they use those chrome outlinings is really good for lego to use as you can see they indented the little side face thing which is also really good depth for this helmet so i feel like we obviously got the normal stand that we've always been getting as i have two helmets and they have the same stands but something like the pictures of the christmas x-wing and how that had a unique stand uh is really cool because i feel like they should have done that for a set like like they should do, do different kind of style stands for each helmet but that's besides the point so i really do like this helmet set but Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. It's free, and if you don't want to, that's okay. Thank you guys for watching. This is Chase signing off. Bye.